So today I'm going to walk through the beautiful town of Inniscordi. I'm going to show you some of the highlight features. Uh, stay with me uh, for the adventure. Beautiful historic town. It goes back to the time of the Normans and also huge history when it centered around the 1798 rebellion. So stay with me. It's well, Saturday morning. It's a uh, quarter to quarter to ten, and they come to the car park right at the entrance of the Inniscordi town, and you see there's fruit and veg, flowers, vendors, mix and match, fresh baked goods. You picked a good day in between the two. You see? Really picked so, well. so it's a not a huge market. But just press projects. Yeah, it's just located right at the bottom of the town. Where is that you can have some coffee? Fortune's Fresh Farm, any three veg, two euros on the table. That's very good value. And there you can see up in front is the view of the Inniscor out of the Inniscorte Castle. I'll be going there today for a visit. I've already made arrangements uh, to go in. It opens up at 12 o'clock on Saturdays. I'll also be going to the 1798 Center. So those are the two main key museum type places that we're going to go see. I have another couple of uh, places where I'm going to go visit. So stick with me and we'll walk for right now. I'm just going to walk up through the town and see what we can see. It's a very historic town. We'll cross over here. There's a crosswalk. You can see up in the top of the hill right there. I'll be finishing up there today. That's the uh, Vinegar Hill. That was the major point where the, the commanders of the 1798 Rebellion, and it was the final battle place of the Wexford Rebellion of 
the bottom of that street is a, an old tavern, an old pub. Now we're gonna go see the statue of uh, Father John Murphy. Father uh, John Murphy statue was designed in 1906, dated 1907, it was cast in 1908, and unveiled in 1908 by Oliver Shepherd. If memory serves me right, he's the same one that did the, the bike man that's in uh, the bull ring in Wexford. We have the county council bird building there. So this is like a little corner where the town meets. We'll walk, continue on walking up here. And then we'll go to the right. There's the Orchard Peace Park, which I want to go visit. It's a UN Peace Memorial, honoring the people that served and died on peacekeeping missions. It links the uh, Covenant Road with the uh, Irish Street. St. Aidan's Cathedral there. It really jumps out at you. It's a big building. an excellent view of Vinegar Hill right across. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up. I'll take a picture with my phone and I'll insert it up in the top corner. It's 
so you get to see Stored in 1994, cost one million Orchard Peace Park. It's open on the 20th of May, 2019. some sculptures of cherries. Geez, there's a fine house right there. So that goes back into some period feature. Some nice little benches here. Sit and relax. 
and a beautiful view of Vinegar Hill just up on the mountain of side in front of us. There's the cathedral right there. So, these are people who lost their eyes. Bosnia, the Congo, Lebanon, Cyprus. I was in Cyprus. This was all in 65 to 71. I was there in, I believe, 89 for six months with two commando. Okay, Canadian army officer. We have Middle East, Somalia, Sarajevo, East Timor, Liberia, UNT, AET, Sweden, and Haiti. And then EU staff in Brussels. There's little benches that you can sit and relax. There you have the spiral where you can walk and contemplate. And in the middle there's a sculpture. I'm not going to leave back here. We're going to go down here and see where this takes us. This path that goes on here. And there's steps. So we'll go down the steps. You can wheel it around, follow the trail, or take the steps down. It gets you to the same spot. Go this way. entrance to Dunn's stores. We'll be going in there. Just a supermarket with some clothes. Has a bit of everything. We'll walk along and see that. And you always see Vinegar Hill. It's still up in the hill right in front of us. So whenever you're around in a Scorty, you just have to look up and you can always see Vinegar Hill watching down on you. Hi, how are you? 
for you. the old tavern and then remember the street that we saw from the other side well this is the bottom part of it so this is looking up and then what I'll do is I'll cross over the river and we'll head up to uh, walk up to this sea vinegar hill now and then come back and then depending on the time we'll do the two tours cup of tea or something, meet up with Emily. Right now we'll walk, take a walk over to top of Vinegar Hill. It's a fair walk. There's some uh, swans there. The river looks nice and peaceful right now. When it rains, it can overflow the banks. It's peaceful now right here. Got a little mural on the side. It's like a phoenix with a hat with the uh, harp.
beautiful view. Believe it or not, I've been here for about 13 years. First time I've been up to Vinegar Hill. Here's the views. There's the town. You can see the cathedral over there. And there's, there if you can see right there, that's the, uh, the house beside the uh, Orchard uh, Peace uh, Park. And there, right there, you see in Escorty Castle. And to the back of it, up in the hill, there's the uh, 1798 Center, which you'll see. So, like I said, it's a beautiful view around. So this is the top of Vin Vinegar Hill. And there's in Escorty Town. And I believe that should be like Bree Hill. And it works for to be way down there. And there's the top of Vinegar Hill. Imagine 20,000 men assembled here. Well, hope you enjoyed the visit to Vinegar Hill. Um, now I'm going to go head back down and then stay tuned to watch. I'll put it back on when I get back into the village. Depending on the time, we'll maybe have a quick cup of tea and then I'll head off to the next stop, which will be the the Inescorti Castle, and we'll explore that and tell you all about that. Thank you. Thank you.